Hello everyone and welcome to another Looker Studio tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to visualize the time of the day and day of the week performance for our Google Ads campaigns. So we have here obviously a Looker Studio report. Before we go straight to the point, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. It helps tremendously to create new content. And off we go. We are going to click on insert from the top. We are going to add a column chart. You can visualize it in many ways, but column chart is probably going to be the best option or a combo chart. And now we're going to go on the right hand side from dimension. We are going to select day of week. So you can start typing day and you're going to select day of week. And when it comes to metrics, you can select any metrics. So here, for example, we can select conversions and we have a chart here that is giving us the conversions by day of the week. Now, if you want to sort the days of the week, so under sort here, you're going to select days of the week in ascending order. So your chart here is going to be sorted either in ascending or descending order by days of the week. If you want the values also to appear, then you're going to go to style. Then you're going to click here on show data labels. So we have the conversions here by the different days of the week. If you want the same chart, but let's say with two metrics, for example, conversions and cost per conversion, then what you're going to do is you're going to click on insert. You're going to select a combo chart. Then you're going to go on the right hand side. You're going to select the dimension as day of the week. And then for the metrics, we're going to select conversions as let's say one option. Again, you can select any metrics that you like. And then we're going to select, for example, here our conversion rate. So now we need to do a little bit of a customization when it comes to uh, this uh, chart, just to make sure that everything shows exactly as we want to. We're going to go to style and we are going to say here that line one, series number one, which is conversions. So the blue line here, this one is going to be a bar. And we are going to scroll a little bit further down and we're going to say that series number two, which is the click conversion rate, is going to be a line. And this series number two is going to report on the right axis, basically. So now we have the bar chart, which are the conversions. Let's actually click on show data labels also. So we can show the data labels. And we also have the line, which is the click to conversion rate. One thing that I also do is I scroll the way down to grid. I remove the lines because it looks a lot cleaner like that. And here we go. So we have a graph that shows the performance of our Google Ads campaign by day of the week. Now, in order to do the same with the hour of the day, all we have to do is really change this dimension from day of the week to hour of the day. So you can select the same graph basically here. Actually, let's duplicate it. So we have this chart here, which is day of the week performance. We are going to duplicate it. Control C, Control V or Command C, Command V. We're going to come here on the right hand side. We're going to change the day of the week to hour of the day. And that's it. So now here we have the hours of the day. And you can sort also by hour of the day in either ascending or descending order if this is how you want, for example, your chart to appear. If you are starting from scratch, then we are going to click on insert. I'm going to add a column chart here. And here I'm going to select instead of day of the week, the hour of the day. So all you have to do to report on day of the week and hour of the day in Looker Studio for your Google Ads campaigns is to select the dimension that is called day of the week or hour of the day from the right hand side under the setup column. And then you can customize your charts, charts or graphs. Of course, you can create reports that are not only column charts. For example, you can create pie charts. You want to see as a percentage, for example, what is the day of the week that drives the most, let's say conversions. You can do that. You can create tables. So as long as you select the dimension as day of the week or hour of the day, you are able to create any visualization 
that you like. And you can also use these dimensions as a filter. So for example, here, we can have a filter that is relevant to day of the week, and we can have another filter if we duplicate it that is relevant to, let's say, hour of the day. Obviously, this hour of the day filter not very convenient, but what this filter does is imagine you have a regular report. You only want to see your performance on Monday or on Tuesday or on Thursday. You can say, I want to see Sunday only, for example. Everything will refresh accordingly. That's it. That's how to use these two dimensions in your Looker Studio reports. If you have any questions or any comments, please type them below. Have a great day in any time zone and see you in the next.